angry guy here. And men are refusing to help struggling women as society collapses. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, please help get, help the channel get to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel. If you already have it, liking the video and turning on notifications, to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. Men are refusing to help struggling women as society collapses. I mean, they, ladies, you brought it onto yourselves. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Happened over the last couple of generations, but men don't help women. They don't offer to hold doors and things of that nature. And part of that obviously is because radical feminists, yeah, you know, yeah. have said, if you hold the door for me, you're implying that I'm weak. So it's not like it's just the fault of men. Do you ever fear about like looking like a Karen or do you think you ever overreact? I literally wear a shirt that says proud Karen to the airport. Really? I sell them. Oh, so yes. you go in there ready yeah. I, to I let people know, <laughs> like, you know, like them. it's not. And think about when you go to a bar, who's supposed to buy women drinks? Men are. Do you see that as often as, like, years and years ago? All costs. I get all that, man. I have to protect Even that, when blah, girls blah, blah. are fighting with each other, like, it is so ugly. It is the ugliest thing that there is men around and they're not doing anything. But why do you think men don't do that anymore? Because they used to do that before. But why do you think they don't do that anymore? They stopped doing that. Why do you think you're a man? <laughs> you tell me. First of all, good uh -huh. question. The reason I think, man, we don't do it anymore because you guys don't respect us anymore. Okay. Second, you guys don't need us anymore. I don't need it, man. I'm a strong woman, independent. You are independent, you're strong. What do you need me for? What do you complain to me not protecting when you already have everything that you want? I'm a b****. What do you need me for? Okay, so buying women drinks is chivalry, apparently. I always find it amusing how women will twist the definitions of words to suit their own desires and preferences. Is it any wonder that men aren't helping women anymore? For too long, men have been getting beaten over the head with feminist rhetoric telling them that any notions of traditional masculinity are ridiculous and that women don't need protecting. These days, if you even suggest that a woman might need your protection in some situations, you'll be accused of being a toxic masculine misogynist. We're constantly reminded that women aren't these dainty little creatures who need our help. You know, it's so crazy, guys. So modern women have created the system. You know, they have created a system where they say they're independent. They're boss babes. They don't need no man. They disrespect men. They make the lives of men miserable. Every male space has been invaded. The only space left where a man can feel safe is within his home. And I've told you that as things go downhill, as you know, as as inflation gets worse, as we head towards a, a social decline, a massive social decline, you will have women going door to door, knocking on the doors of men. I have said it. I called it many years ago. And, you know, a lot of you all say it's prophetic. I'm telling you, you're going to have women going around, knocking on the doors of men, trying to trap them. All right. Literally saying, oh, hey, I miss a so and so from down the road. I've got, you know, and I, I, I joked about it. I said, you know, they're going to say things like, oh, I've got all these hungry kids out here. Like, these kids need help. They really are. They really are. Like, oh, we need to build community again. We need to go around and get to know our neighbors. No, these men aren't messing with y'all. Y'all are broke. Your hungry bellies are out there. FEMA is on the way. And you're out here trying to, and now you're like, oh, I want to say that you're going to take the initiative. Like, if women start to harass, because women have been harassing men in society for ages now. So as a result of that, men are basically done. Men have said, you know what? We're done with Western society. We're not even going to put up with the nonsense. We're just going to walk away entirely from Western society and just focus on ourselves. You know, and men men are like leaving the gyms, you know. 63% of, of gyms have been of, of, of gyms have been declining. 60% to be exact, 60% of gyms have been shutting down. Okay, closing down in Western society. 60% of these gyms are closing down. If you look at what happened with Bud Light, Bud Light lost tens of billions of dollars, and they thought it was hilarious. They thought losing tens of billions of dollars is hilarious, which is basically shows you that to them, you know, it's not, you know, investor money 
is just a joke. Investor money is just is literally nothing more than than a toy for them to play with. You know, I mean, you look at the results of feminism in Western society of women saying that they're boss babes and they can do bad all on their own and where it's put women in society and where it's put our society in extreme decline. And you realize that none of these people actually care. The hearts of these people are extraordinarily wicked. They're just they're just furious that, you know, they don't have access to the capital they once did. And like I said, they'll they'll go to any extreme lengths to get a man's money because men are basically staying in their homes now. Men are building home gyms. Men are basic men are, you know, men are engaging in, in classic video games. A lot of dudes are just completely withdrawing from Western society and downsizing. I've already said this. You know, men don't need a lot to survive. A man can, you know, work a job, a remote job, and make forty to fifty thousand dollars a year, but literally just staying at home. And he's and he's living in luxury. Give him a few years. Give a guy that's making forty to fifty thousand dollars a year, you know, just a couple of years. And this guy ends up with a couple hundred thousand dollars in the bank. And you're like, how is this even possible? And the reason why is because, you know, after his uh, after his basic needs are met, a lot of these dudes are buying campers. A lot of these dudes are buying mobile homes. They, so, you know, they cut out the rent, the cost of rent. You know, they live or they live very, very cheap. They buy a car, they buy an apartment or whatever. And after that's caught, after that cost is covered, you know, they're driving around in older luxury cars so again they don't have any expenses there they cook their food at home and they eat when i say they eat they eat they eat well and the cost of living is so low that everything else goes into savings and investments basically gambling so they're just putting their money into the markets or crypto and there's a lot of dudes who said it plenty of times they don't care if their bitcoin portfolio goes all the way down to zero and that's that's really what you know that these men, you know that that's just how well they're doing. So because they're able to make those investments and allow those investments to sit there, and to grow, it is it's pretty massive. You have you have guys that just have a lot of passive income coming in right now, and there's no wife, there's no children, and the money just keeps on just keeps stacking up. It's just stacking up, stacking up, stacking up, and then you so after a few years. You end up with these guys who have over a hundred thousand dollars in the bank. For some older guys, you end up with guys who have over a million dollars in the bank. Some of these guys are not even very old, and you know, some of these you have guys who make fifty thousand dollars a year, but they have half a million dollars in the bank. Sometimes more than that. And a lot of modern day women would look at these guys and call them broke boys. Little do they know these men have bank. They have bank and modern women are so disrespectful because they're literally saying things like a millionaire is nothing anymore. A million dollars is no money. And and they're so they're I mean, they're tearing society apart. They are they are ripping society apart, saying that, you know, police officers and firefighters and, you know, these people, men need to leave these jobs alone. Women are destroying they're they're ripping society apart. When they say things like this, you realize that they don't they have no concept of how society even works as an adult, as a grown woman. And it's not just one person, it's all of these women right now. Like they to say these things, it's like that you realize that they have no sense of 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 how the world operates. That you know, they're the only reason why we don't have garbage piling up is because men have to go out and pick up the trash. Like it's like it's basically men have to plan for everything. And it's you, you look at the behavior of women and you realize that it's never going to change. It's really, really never going to change. And, you know, the best option for men is going overseas. But you have to remember, these women are, are not in the walls. They are not they're not perfect. It's just that they operate different. And a lot of them are more coy than American and Western women. So while you will get a better investment, you'll get a better bang for your buck. To understand she is not superior to western women she is just she just operates different now don't get me wrong there are things i think that there's a lot of things you know better with with foreign women than with western women but don't but a lot of men get it twisted because if given the if if given the opportunity a lot of these women in foreign these foreign women would do the exact same things that western women are doing you know that's the reason why they say don't her don't bring her back like do not bring her back home 
Guys, if you're enjoying the content, please help get the channel to 100,000 subscribers in our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't, liking the video, and turning on notifications. To never miss another video ever again. Men are refusing to help struggling women as society collapses. What do you guys think about this? I want to know your thoughts. So let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA and walking away and cheers.